let us find out the solution of this problem we have to find out the transmission parameters of the circuit shown in figure so you can see that current i2 is flowing in this way current i1 is flowing in this way if you apply kcl at this node you can say that current i1 plus i2 will flow in 10 ohm resistance i1 is flowing in this 10 ohm resistance and if you apply kcl at this node you can say that current 2i1 plus i2 will flow in this 5 ohm resistance now we have to find out two equations by any way i can find out the first equation by using kvl in this loop so apply kvl v1 equals to 10 i1 plus 5 into 2 i1 plus i2 this is the first equation you can solve this equation v1 equals to 10 i1 plus 10 i1 that will be 20 i1 plus 5 i2 this is the first equation which i have got from this circuit now i will use kvl in this loop and i will find out the second equation so v2 equals to 10 into i1 plus i2 plus 5 into 2 i1 plus i2 after solving this equation v2 equals to 10 i1 plus 10 i1 that is 20 i1 plus 10 i2 plus 5 i2 will be 15 i2 so this is the second equation which I have got from this circuit now I have to find out the transmission parameters transmission parameters for the transmission parameters I can write this equation v1 i1 is the function of v2 minus i2 a b c and d a is defined as v1 upon v2 when i2 equals to 0 you can define c in this way c equals to i1 upon v2 when i2 equals to 0 when this i2 will be 0 you can say that c will be equal to i1 upon v2 so these are the two equations there is no need to see this circuit by using these two equations you can find out a b c d parameters so put i2 equals to 0 in these two equations you will get v1 equals to 20 i1 and v2 equals to 20 i1 now you can find out the ratio of v1 and v2 so a equals to 20 upon 20 and it will be 1 and it will be unitless you can use this equation to find out the value of c c is the ratio of i1 and v2 so i1 upon v2 is equal to 1 upon 20 so this is the value of c value of a is 1 and c is equal to 1 upon 20 now let us find out the value of b and d b is defined in this way b equals to minus v1 upon i2 when v2 equals to 0 and d equals to minus i1 upon i2 when v2 equals to 0 put the value of v2 equals to 0 in these two equations there will be no change in equation number 1 
20i1 plus 5i2 and this will be 0 equals to 20i1 plus 15i2. With the help of these two equations we have to find out the value of b and d. So replace this i1 v1 equals to 20 the value of i1 can be written as minus 15 i2 upon 20 plus 5 i2 v1 equals to minus 15 i2 plus 5 i2 v1 equals to minus 10 i2 and you can write minus v1 upon i2 equals to 10 so this is the value of b value of b equals to 10 let us find out the value of d with the help of this equation so minus 20 i1 equals to 15 i2 minus i1 upon i2 equals to 15 upon 20 or 3 upon 4 so this is the value of d already we have calculated the value of a and c so precisely we can write the answer 1 1 upon 20 10 3 upon 4 so in this way we have solved this problem The answer of this problem is this. So basically we have got two equations and with the help of two equations we have calculated the t parameters of this circuit.